friends, welcome back to Moonspell Tarot. My name is Taylor and today we are doing a 18 plus pick a card reading, finding out what would their drunk text be to you and what do they want to do to you. So I have four different piles here in front of me today. Um, I also have the sexual magic tarot and the hush tarot, uh, just for a clarifier. Um, and we are going to find out some messages that your um, next sexual encounter wants to do to you, things you're interested in, um, some drunk texts they may send you, okay? And this is, of course, an 18 plus reading. So if you're under that age, I have plenty of other readings that are uh, love readings that are meant for all ages, if you care to check those out. So for pile number one, we have Peonia. For pile number two, we have On Your Own Terms. For pile number three, we have Lioness. And then for pile number four, we have Mermaid Soul. So there will be timestamps in the description down below whenever you are ready to jump to your reading. Um, but while you are meditating on which card to get, thinking about it, maybe um, you know you can't decide, I want you to think about this person. If this is somebody that you already know, if this is somebody that you are interested in, you know, hooking up with, um, you know, maybe you have a particular person in mind that you are already seeing, um, I definitely want you to meditate on that idea and really think about, you know, that person and what you may be interested in doing with them. And that will guide you to the correct card to pick. Also, if you are attracted to more than one card that is okay, you could go ahead and watch multiple readings, and that just means that multiple mes messages <laughs> are supposed to hit for you. So let's go ahead and take a nice, good, deep breath, and I will see you all at your reading. So. Welcome back, pile number one. So this is if you chose a Peonia card, and it says, love who you are. So I think that that's a great message. Um, you know, just right off the bat, that's telling me that this person has, like, a strong uh, sexual attraction to you. They find you very beautiful. They're very interested in you as a person, um, and not just sex, but I feel like they really uh, like your body as well. So that's a really great message right off the bat. So let's see what else we can find out what are their drunk texts, what else do we need to know about this relationship. Also, comment down below if you guys like this new setup in the background. <laughs> Trying something a little different. Okay, so we have Four of Swords reversed. Okay, so let's do some more too. Interesting. some messages spirit oh we got a couple okay so we have a uh, ten of wands reversed we have uh, ace of pentacles and we have eight of swords okay so let's look at those okay so just right off the bat uh, you know I just I really feel like this person um, is very much like into you and wants to be gentlemanly like so you know and I feel like that's something that you like as well um, because you did pull the Peonia card um, and it says love who you are so I really do think that you you're interested in like an actual partnership so somebody that you already you know are talking to somebody that you are interested in you know is definitely wanting to you know treat you like a lady or treat you like a gentleman um, and they want to just like make sure that you are feeling good that you um, you know enjoy yourself with them that you enjoy uh, you know your time you spend with them and they don't want to make you feel uncomfortable uneasy anything like that 
So I definitely see that this person with Eight of Swords is very interested in your body. Um, they find you very attractive. If you've already like gone out with this person, um, or maybe if you met them online and they've you know looked at pictures of you, things like that, I think that this person is very, very interested in your body. I feel like they have a very strong um, sexual presence and they really... Um, you know, they like looking at pictures of you. They find you very attractive. They are very, like, turned on by you. So, you know, I really do think that this person has a very strong sexual attraction to you. But, like, we see with um, Four of Swords Reverse, you know, um, I feel like this person is also interested in uh, being a gentleman. Like, I don't think, or being a lady, um, you know, I feel like this person doesn't want to come off too strong. So their drunk text may be more flirty, um, you know, talking about, uh, you know, I really like you, things like that. I don't think that they're being overly explicit, but I think that if they do drink a lot, they would express, you know, that interest in hooking up with you. Um, you know, I do think that they would express, um, interest but not be overly graphic i don't think that they're the type of person to necessarily do that but i do feel like this person um may talk about uh things that you can see in pictures unless you were to send them any like dirty pictures or anything like that i feel like this person may like really talk about your eyes um you know talk about your lips uh things like that they may flirt in kind of like a general way they may say things like um you know i really um, like your tattoos, things like that. If you have tattoos that are visible, uh, things like that. I feel like they're going to hint around that they find you very sexually attractive, but I don't think that they're going to be, um, necessarily like very graphic about it. I feel like they still in their, you know, drunken state, they still are interested in you and they don't want to mess things up. So, you know, I definitely feel like they are going to flirt and are going to, um, you know, try to like in a roundabout way, let you know that they are sexually interested. And, you know, this could be this person's like first sexual relationship. Um, I f see that for some of you that this person may not have a lot of experience, especially if you're younger. Um, and you know, this person just hasn't dated a lot or something like that. Um, I feel like that they are, um, a little bit shy about it. They don't necessarily want to come out and be like sending you a picture or anything of themselves or uh, any unsolicited pictures or anything like that. I feel like they, um, you know, they definitely want to make sure that you're feeling good, you're enjoying yourself, um, and that you feel comfortable with them. I feel like that's a really big um, thing for them. And, you know, I feel like with uh, Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this person definitely wants to, um, you know, they're very interested in like intimacy with you. They're very interested in your body, uh, interested in how you look. Uh, and I feel like that they want a very like romantic hookup with you. I feel like that's something that they would also allude to. Um, you know, if you have plans to like go out with this person, if you have plans to, you know, maybe see this person for dinner or something like that. I feel like that they are kind of like hinting around in a way, uh, but because they are a little bit more shy, um, I think that they may kind of beat around the bush a little bit and not directly come on and say it. So, you know, they may say like, what do you want to do after, you know, dinner or, <laughs> um, you know, I wish you were here with me or something like that. I feel like they definitely would hint around without actually coming out and saying it. And that's perfect for you, pile number one, because I do feel that because you chose this card, you are, you know, looking for something a little bit deeper. You're not necessarily just looking for a hookup. So I do think that for you, that can be, um, you know, really beneficial. So let's see what other messages we can find. Uh, what will your first time be like with this person? What will your date be like? What else can we find out? Ooh, okay. Okay, we have Seven of Swords. Interesting. So, you know, I feel like with Seven of Swords that it may be a little bit awkward uh, because, you know, I think that when you think about drunk texts and you think about maybe you've received uh, certain ones in the past, you expect them to be like overly naughty or you expect them to be, um, you know, like really flirtatious or something like that or sending you pictures you, you know, maybe not necessarily want to see, but maybe you do want to see. Uh, you know, I feel like that that is a little bit off-putting for you. So maybe um, you may want to put off the date a little bit or you may want to, um, 
you know, necess not necessarily like go out with this person right away because maybe you think they're not attracted to you. But I do feel like they are very attracted. I just feel as if they are a little bit more um, shy. They, you know, are not the kind of people to necessarily like um, just jump on you, right? So I really feel like that that may be a little bit awkward and that might not be what you're used to. But I do really feel like this person uh, does have like a strong attraction to you. So let's continue to shuffle and see what else we can find. What else do we need to know, Spirit, about this interaction? What other, oops, what other drunk texts will they send? Okay, so we have... Uh, Ten of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like he is or she. Um, I tried to use, you know, non-binary, um, you know, just any sexual orientation. So I apologize. Uh, but I do think that um, they definitely want you to reach out to them. I feel like that they are um, very turned on by you, very attracted as we see, you know, they may comment on things and send you texts about things that are visible in pictures, you know, comment on how beautiful your eyes are, uh, things like that. Um, but I do think that they are kind of like waiting for you to uh, kind of make that first move and um, be a little bit sexy first. So if that's something you feel comfortable doing, I really do feel like they would be open to it and really love it. I feel like they would really enjoy you, um, you know, kind of making that first step kind of, um, you know, going out of your way to make sure that you are feeling good, okay? Um, and make sure that you're enjoying yourself and making sure that you are comfortable with reaching out to them uh, just because they are a little bit more shy and may not want to do that themselves. Um, and also we have two of pentacles. So I feel like this person, again, like really watches you a lot. If you know this person in your everyday life, um, maybe work with this person or go to school with them, um, or something like that. I feel like this person watches you a lot. I feel like they are very uh, turned on by the way you look. I feel like they um, glance at you a lot. You see them kind of looking at you and you feel that very like strong sexual energy from them. I feel like you, uh, before you even started this type of interaction with this person, I feel like that you already felt a strong sexual connection. Um, you know, maybe if you two like chit chat a lot at work or um, maybe like bump into each other very often or something like that, I feel like it was maybe a little bit awkward, a little bit weird, and you already kind of knew that the attraction was there. So I really do feel that this attraction was already very intense um, right off the bat and it's just kind of like escalated into something more. Um, and even for those of you who maybe like met this person online and you don't know this person, um, you know, in real life yet, you're just talking. I feel like that you two had a really positive connection right away. Um, and it wasn't necessarily, um, like overly sexual right away. And so I feel like that's why this person, um, had a really strong attraction to you, uh, because they, you know, they really thought that you were cute and, uh, wanted to chat you up. So, you know, I feel like that it was a really great connection right away and it wasn't necessarily like overly sexual, right? So let's do one more of the Hush Tarot, just as a clarifier. Oh, okay. Um, just to find out, you know, exactly what uh, the date will be like, the overall energy. Okay, and big one. Okay, so we have the Tower reversed. So for those of you who are familiar with Tarot, um, you know, the Tower is like a very powerful card. And to pull it in reversal for me says that you are going to have like a really great time with this person. Um, I don't see the date going in a bad way. I feel like once you two go out and kind of get to know each other more, I feel like it's going to be very explosive and very fun. Um, you two are going to really like enjoy each other's time. It's not going to be um, any negative energy or anything like that. I feel like it's going to be a very like enjoyable time. Um, you know, and you two may you know, lead to have sex or intimacy right away. It may not be like full on, but it may be a lot of kissing, things like that. I feel like, you know, of course this person wants to be more gentleman-like because I feel like they are also looking for a relationship as well. Um, but I do think that for, um, you know, many of you, it may lead to some like kissing at least. Um, 
a really enjoyable fun time so I don't think that this person is necessarily uh, trying to like jump your bones right away but I do think that they are very enjoyable to be around very fun and they want you really want to get to know you so I feel like overall the energy for these text messages and you know a first date a first encounter is going to be really fun again this person is just very respectful and kind about you they they want to get to know you more so they don't want to scare you off definitely so thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you are new here and you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I post daily pick a cards on a variety of different topics. I do a lot of 18 plus readings. So if you like that type of thing, um, hit that subscribe. And also if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description box. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye. Welcome back pile number two. So this is if you chose the on your own terms card and it says she waited a really long time to be saved until one day she decided to save herself. It was a very good day. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm seeing some energy that you haven't, um, you know, maybe been on a date in a long time that you have been, um, you know, single for a while and you've been looking for somebody new. So this is like, um, a long time waiting for you kind of a new experience and so you are you know excited for it but maybe a little bit anxious so let's see what their drunk text will say what is the overall energy of this interaction um, the first time for intimacy a date let's see what we can find out oops okay so we have uh, the Sun reverse let's pull a few more another okay the hanged man reverse interesting okay uh, we have a seven of pentacles okay interesting very interesting cards okay okay those are a lot of cards so I'm gonna keep shuffling that was too many <laughs> Ten of Cups and the Emperor and we will pull a few more if we need to okay so right off the bat I'm feeling as if this person um, you know was very like turned on by the fact that you reached out to them first I feel like that that was really like a cool thing for them they really like that and um especially if you met this person on like a dating site or you know even out in public you know maybe you just met them i feel like they were really turned on by the idea that you uh felt you know strong enough and felt sexy enough and good enough about yourself to reach out to them i feel like that was a really like big deal for them um because that doesn't often happen you know a lot of times we're kind of sitting around waiting thinking that the other person's going to um, chat us up and they never do right so I feel like that they were very turned on by the fact that you um, you know reached out to them first and that you were um, you know comfortable with doing that so I feel like that um, you know this person is really like on top of the world by um, the fact that you reached out to them, I feel like that they um, are feeling really good. And so that probably, you know, um, I feel like that maybe started like they're drinking a little bit, uh, especially if you guys have been talking for a little bit and the conversations have been getting more intimate where maybe you went off like a dating site, if that's what you're on and you're actually texting now. Um, I definitely feel like the conversation has gotten more intimate. This person feels more, um, you know, excited to talk to you about things. I feel like that they... Uh, don't necessarily worry about um, saying certain things to you. I feel like that they feel more um, excited to talk to you. And with the Emperor, I feel like this person really doesn't have any problems telling you what they like and what they want to do to you. You know, I feel like this person um, 
definitely has a lot of like sexual prowess. I feel as if they, um, you know, they've had a lot of partners, which is nothing wrong with. I feel like they've had a lot of partners. They have a lot of sexual experience. They have a lot to give from, to you. And they also like want to receive from you. I feel like that they um, have zero problems with what, letting you know exactly what they like and what they're interested in. So I do think that um, your texting interactions will be uh, very spicy, very interesting. You know, they may... Um, you know, in the cards I see, like, legs very prominent. I feel like they may, especially if you've seen this person in real life and they, you know, know what you look like uh, fully, um, they may tell you that, like, they like your um, legs a lot. I also see the breasts um, uh, represented in the cards. So they, you know, will tell you they like your breasts, things like that. I feel like that they um, will, you know, really be, like, excited about, like, your cleavage, things like that. I feel like they may tell you uh, things that they like. They may also tell you... Um, because we even see like in the artwork of the cards that we see a lot of the ladies um, like partially dressed. They may tell you that they like a certain type of lingerie, a certain color, things like that. So I feel like this person has no problem uh, being very spicy, um, you know, letting you know exactly what they like. And, uh, you know, with Seven of Pentacles, I feel like that this person will also be like a very... Um, giving lover. I don't think that this person is necessarily like selfish um, because we see that often represented like with the emperors, a uh, really selfish lover, uh, somebody who um, is just kind of interested in them getting off and they don't, you know, worry about you at all. But I do feel like this person is wanting to give back. I feel like that they, you know, definitely want you to feel good. They want you to um, enjoy yourselves just as much as they, you know, enjoy they, themselves. So I feel like this isn't the kind of person to like cut and run uh, the first time after you have sex. You all may like cuddle together and enjoy each other's time afterwards. You know, and with the sun reversed, I feel like in this instance, it's definitely like very passionate. I don't feel like it's necessarily going to be like really necessarily like rough or kinky, but I do feel like a lot of passion. I do feel like you two, um, when the intimacy does occur, I do think that it will last a long time. I feel like you two will do a lot of like foreplay, uh, things like that, and just kind of like stretch it out and really enjoy each other's bodies and enjoy each other's time. And so I feel like that's what this person was kind of like wanting to prepare you for. Um, I feel like they wanted you to be already like hot and turned on and ready for them. And so they could like tease you even more and pleasure you even more uh, before you actually even have sex. I feel like they really enjoy doing that. They feel very like empowered by the situation. And so, you know, I do feel like it will last a long time. I feel like, again, a lot of foreplay, a lot of, um, you know, very slow and a very like sensual intimacy. I feel like that's something that they really like a lot. And so they were kind of feeling you out to see if that's something you would enjoy as well. And again, I feel like because they're very like attracted to your legs and things like that, they're gonna, I feel like they're most definitely gonna tell you that they really like your legs or um, you're behind. I feel like that they, um, you know, they like to check you out from behind and things like that. So, you know, I feel like they definitely uh, will let you know that. And so, like, during intimacy, they may like to, like, rub on your legs a lot, um, you know, things like that. So I really do think that it's going to be oop, very sensual. Okay, so we have Eight of Wands reverse, and we also have a Seven of Cups. Okay, so, you know, again, I feel like this person is very upfront about what they like about you and very upfront about what they are interested in doing with you. So they are, um, you know, letting you know in advance what they like about you. They're going to let you know that they like your cleavage, that they're very attracted to your legs and like your booty and things like that. Um, I really do feel like this person is very like comfortable with themselves, um, comfortable with sex where they know that you're, they're going to enjoy themselves and that you're going to enjoy yourself as well. So, you know, again, I do see a very like long, passionate night, very enjoyable, um, a lot of foreplay, things like that. And with uh, Seven of Cups, that is really uh, reaffirming to me that this person, or reaffirming to me, that was the wrong word, um, that this person just really 
uh, looks forward to like kissing and um, like making out and things like that. I feel like that they are very like turned on by the way you look and very attracted to you, especially if they haven't seen like your full body. Maybe they've only seen pictures of you if you met this person online or something like that or like through another person and maybe just saw like you know, regular pictures of you. Um, I feel like that this person is um, very excited about those things as well. They're very excited about foreplay. That's something that they find a lot of joy in doing and they um, really like a partner that enjoys that as well. So let's pull another um, hush card or let's pull a hush card rather and we will um, kind of tie up this reading. You know, I feel like this person is really oh, very... Um, you know, turn on by you. So let's see what the overall energy is going to be like for your dates, um, hooking up for the first time. What can we expect? Okay. So we have the King of Wands. Okay. So I'm really feeling like this person, you know, they want to get to know you. So I feel like as well as like sexy talk and, um, you know, sending you drunk texts and uh, being very excited to like hook up with you. I feel like they are, um, you know, they're very like empowered by the situation. And so I feel like that while you're kind of like, excited for the date because they are very like turned on by you i feel like they're also very gassed up by the situation they're very excited uh very turned on by your body very turned on by like the conversation back with you and so i feel like because like we talked about in the beginning of the reading because you've taken time for yourself and allow things to happen on your own terms and be sexual on your own terms and learn to enjoy uh, the time that you have i feel like that um, you know, this person is very like attracted to that. I feel like that they, um, very much admire the fact that you are like doing really good yourself, doing, um, you know, sex and intimacy on your own terms and not, uh, just going around and, you know, sleeping with whoever you've really taken the time for yourself to grow as a person. And now you're putting yourself back out there into the world. Um, you know, I feel like that's kind of like a refreshing thing for them, especially for those who are maybe like on a dating app that can be, you know, very frustrating because I feel like it's a lot of them are just hookup sites. And especially if that's not what you really want, I feel like that this is a very change um, and refreshment for this person. And they really appreciate that you're a very strong and like independent, um, you know, type of person. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number three. So that's if you chose Lioness. So that is a really great card. You know, I feel like that's very like sexy energy. I feel like this person has a very strong like sexual magnetism towards you. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on for these drunk texts. Um, a first date, um, first time having intimacy, what uh, we can find out. Okay, what do we need to know, Spirit, about pile number three? They pulled the lioness card. What is important to know? Okay, I feel like that one definitely wants to pop out at us okay so we have three of pentacles reversed interesting let's pull a few more two of cups reversed okay Oop. that one flipped over on us okay so we have a uh, two of pentacles reversed or two of pentacles not reverse I'm sorry <laughs> two of pentacles uh, let's see what else. Ooh. Okay, so we have a few here. Okay, so we have uh, Three of Cups. We have uh, Ace of Pentacles Reverse, Nine of Wands, 
and King of Cups and the Magician. Okay. So let's do those because that was a lot of cards to pull. But I feel like, you know, they came flying out at us, so let's just go with them. All right. So right off the bat, you know, I'm feeling like I definitely see this person being very caring. Um, you know, besides, you know, drunk text, anything like that. I feel like that for many of you, this person could be somebody that is really great to have a relationship with. So if that's what you're looking for, I would definitely go for that. But I do feel uh, just from like, just looking at nine of wands, the magician, um, two of pentacles, I feel like this person does have a very caring personality. So if you are looking for a relationship, this would definitely work for you. Um, but I feel like right off the bat, this person has a very intense uh, sexual prowess. I feel like this person is uh, very, um, very attractive. I feel like a lot of people find this person um, very handsome or pretty um, or beautiful, whatever. I feel like this person is very, very attractive um, and probably has a lot of people that think that they're attractive. You know, people that they work with, um, just out and about. I feel like people probably check them out a whole lot. So I definitely do feel like this person is very, very attractive and they have it going on. Like, I feel like this person probably has like a pretty good job too. You know, they make good money. They have a nice home, things like that. So I feel like um, right off the bat, this person definitely is, um, you know, a very like hard worker, a very um, intense type of person, you know, so I'm really getting a lot of like Leo energy, uh, Scorpio energy, uh, possibly Capricorn. And if you're not those signs in like your uh, star sign or your moon sign, I would also check out your chart. Um, because a lot of times like you may have very heavy uh, like Leo in your chart, you may not even know. Um, but you know, I do feel a lot of like, especially like Leo energy with the lion, of course. Um, but I do feel uh, for many of you, a lot of Leo, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, uh, Virgo energy, like very intense, very like strong minded person. And so for, you know, when they text you drunk, and they are like thinking about you and want to uh, reach out to you. I feel like with two of cups that they are not subtle. Um, even though they are very kind and warm hearted, I feel like they also are very sexual. Um, so they do not worry about offending. They are uh, very intense about what they like. They are not afraid to let you know what they are interested in you. And um, in the cards, we see the breasts represented several times. And so I feel like they're very interested in your breasts. Um, you know, uh, your cleavage, things like that. I feel like they will uh, let you know like what they want to do to your breasts, if they want to like grab your nipples, suck on your nipples, uh, buy you lingerie, things like that. I feel like they want to watch your breasts bounce while you're there or while you're on top of them. Um, I feel like they're very interested in you. And, um, you know, I like to keep things uh, gender friendly. So like even for those of you who are male representing, I feel like they may also be very like interested in like your abs. Um, if you have more of like a dad bod, uh, which is great. Uh, I feel like that they may be very like interested in like the way your chest looks. I feel like they're very attracted to it. They may um, be very like interested in that. So if you have, um, you know, like if you really like the way your chest looks, I feel like they also will be uh, very attracted to that as well. And with uh, two of pentacles, you know, I see that this person, uh, if you know them also in real life, I feel like they check you out a lot. And if you met this person on like a dating profile or something like that, I definitely see that they, um, you know, checked you out a lot. I feel like they really look at all your pictures and, um, you know, really check you out. I feel like they really want like a good, uh, idea of what you look like. And so they may also uh, be interested in you sending them pictures. I feel like with their drunk texts, uh, they wouldn't be afraid to ask for nudes. Uh, they wouldn't be afraid to ask for lewd photos. And they may send them to you too, especially if you ask for it. And I don't think that they would be shy about it. Um, I feel like they definitely would be um, interested in uh, sending them to you, especially with the magician. I really feel like you'd be surprised with what you see. I feel like that they would be like very um, big. Um, I feel like if 
they are female representing, you would be very surprised by like their breast size outside of like wearing a bra and things like that. I feel like that they would really surprise you with what's underneath and I feel like you would really enjoy it. So I definitely feel like they want nudes from you, uh, but they wouldn't be afraid to send them to you as well. You know, they definitely um, are not shy in that department. They feel comfortable, you know, telling you anything. But I feel like because they are like a genuine, like kind person and uh, very, you know, understanding and nice, I feel like with a uh, nine of wands, I feel like the next day uh, they may send you like a really sweet and kind text. I don't think that the um, dirty text would necessarily carry on the next day. I feel like they, may, pardon me, I feel like they may, um, you know, they may say something like, oh, how are you? And, um, you know, good morning, beautiful, or whatever, I feel like that they would definitely um, want to let you know that they are interested in you besides that. Um, and I don't think it's that ne they're necessarily embarrassed, but they don't want to give you that um, impression because I feel like the sexual energy between you two is very intense, but I also feel like uh, this person may be interested in like a relationship and uh, getting to know you more. And I feel like, you know, the first time you all hook up, um, going on a date together. Um, I feel like that the sexual energy is really strong. I feel like that, um, you know, you two will be very flirtatious. I feel like that you both may wear somewhat of like a provocative and like sexy outfit, um, something low cut, something tight, uh, something that's very revealing for either one of you. And so I feel like that this person is uh, very you know, turned on by you. I feel like that they um, are really excited to get to know you in that way. And so I feel like intimacy will occur very fast. You know, it may be even that day in the car on the way home, they may want to do like some foreplay in the car or maybe even like oral or something like that. I feel like this person is very um, like hot and excited for you. I feel like that they are uh, just really turned on by your body. And with um, Ace of P uh, Pentacles reversed, you know, I feel like that this person may, um, I feel like that they may want to do it more times than one. I feel like that they um, may be just like overly turned on, very excited. And so I feel like that they would want to do it more than one time. Um, and, you know, like wake you up in the middle of the night if you stay the night and want to do it again or maybe even the next morning. I feel like that this person is very, very turned on uh, by you and by your body. So I definitely do feel like it's, um, it's not going to be a restful evening for you. I feel like you are definitely going to get your workout in, definitely um, be intimate several times. So let's do another, um, let's do a hush tarot to get an overall energy reading of the um, date and, um, you know, what it will be like between you. Oh, okay. We have um, four of swords. So again, I feel like this person is very intense in their personality. I feel like they are, um, you know, interested in your body right away. They're very interested in hooking up, um, very interested in sex. And so I feel like the first date and the first time you all are intimate together, I do see it being very intense and, um, you know, just really fun and enjoyable. I feel like you two are very, like, I feel like for both of you even, I, I see that there may be um, some fire signs for both of you. Um, Again, check your birth chart if you are not aware of that. But I do think that for a lot of you, a lot of um, a combination of like earth signs and sun signs, because this person is, um, you know, interested in a relationship. They're not just interested in sex. And so I do feel like for a lot of you, there will be um, a lot of earth signs in there as well. Um, and so I feel like this person is definitely uh, very interested in you, wants to get to know you, but also is very interested in your body. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I post daily pick a cards on various topics and I do a lot of 18 plus readings if you're into that type of thing. Um, and also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description. So thank you so much, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.
Welcome back, pile number four. So that's if you chose the Mermaid Soul card. And it says up at the top, love is not blind, it only sees what matters. Okay. So just for an overall energy, you know, feeling of the reading, I feel like this person, um, you know, I feel like that they are very interested in like you as a person. And I feel like that they are you know, really feeling you and feeling your vibe. So I feel like that, um, also like with sex, I feel like they also are seeing like what's inside. Um, and if you've been talking to this person for a while, um, you know, maybe the idea of like drunk texts may like throw you off a little bit. Like if you've received some or something like that, uh, I feel like that they may throw you off, but I feel like this person is also very interested in you as a person, but they, you know, of course, along with that attraction to you as a person, they also are very interested in intimacy with you. So let's go ahead and see, uh, what drunk texts we can find out. What will they say to you? Um, what will like a first date be like? What will intimacy for the first time be like with this person? What do we need to know spirit about okay, that one wants to come out of this, uh, five of swords reversed. Okay. We got, let me put my thumb there so I don't lose any of these. Okay, we have a uh, Knight of Wands. We have a uh, Ten of Swords reversed. We have Two of Pentacles. We have the Magician reversed. And we have Eight of Swords. And we have Nine of Swords. Okay. So that was a lot of cards, but they definitely flipped out at us. Very dramatic, so I feel like they are meant for this reading. Okay. All right, so let's get these in order so we could look. Okay. So I'm feeling that right off the bat, this person, um, I feel like for many of you, this is someone that you've known for a while. And I feel that this person uh, kind of watches you from afar. I feel like, you know, if you work this person or maybe go to school with them or something like that or even just know them through like family or friends or something like that I really do feel like this person has had an attraction to you for a while and so they're very interested in you as a person they're very interested in your body um and I feel like they have been wanting you for a long time I feel like that um strong sexual attraction has been there for a long time and they've tried to like deny it I feel like with um two of pentacles reverse I feel like they definitely have been wanting to like deny uh, that they feel a certain type of way I feel like that they have tried to hide it and so you know this may be somebody that you received drunk text from that was very unexpected um and it kind of like surprised you when they just like let all their feelings out for you um but I do feel like this person does have good um, intentions into their heart. Um, but I do really feel like, with, especially with the Magician Reverse, I definitely see that you were very surprised by this when they started like telling their feelings. And so, um, you know, it was just like a really kind of like almost awkward moment for you. But I feel like that you kind of, you know, maybe started leaning into it when they started uh, dirty talking with you a little bit. Um, and I feel like that they um, basically like let you know everything they like about you. Um, and it was just really surprising because you weren't really expecting that. Um, so I feel like this person uh, lets you know with, um, you know, Nine of Wands, I feel like this person lets you know um, definitely how they feel. I, that's, I feel like, the major part of this reading. Um, this is one is a little bit different than the previous uh, readings that I did I feel like a lot of that was more about very like intense sexual energy I feel like this one more revolves around love and that's just um, regarding the oracle card you picked I feel like this person definitely um, you know lets you know how they feel they let you know that they want to um, be with you they want to have a family with you maybe someday um, you know, maybe they told you that they're jealous if you have a partner or jealous of partners you've had in the past. I feel like this person definitely um, was not shy about letting you know, you know, the way they feel. And so I feel like this person with a five of swords reverse, I feel like this person uh, definitely lets you know 
uh, very sweet and like tender things that they feel for you, you know, um, very like sensitive. Um, but I feel like it quickly turned sexual, uh, which is okay. You know, I feel like that, you know, it probably started off as them, you know, drinking and, um, them just deciding to reach out to you. And then over time it turned uh, more intense. Um, so I do think that with like eight of swords, I feel like this person, uh, lets you know that they are like very attracted to your body. Um, they really, you know, want to have sex with you. They want intimacy with you. They are interested in you. And, um, I feel like that they were not shy about letting you know that they just kind of let it out and let you know, um, you know, if they really, I feel like in these cards, we see, um, the legs represented very often. We see, um, the booty represented very often. Um, we also see breasts represented. So I feel like that they really let you know that they like your breasts. Uh, they're very interested in like your, um, booty. Um, they probably like want to grab it. I feel like that they're very interested in that. And so they have a lot of anxiety and a lot of anxious and like excited feelings about, um, you know, sex with you. I feel like that they, um, would be very excited to do it and, you know, definitely want to do it. But I feel like, um, the thought of that makes them worried because you two have been friends or known each other for a long time. And with a uh, nine of swords, I feel like this person, um, tells you that they want to like rip your clothes off. I feel like that they, um, have expressed, um, you know, being a little bit rough with you. I feel like if they got a little bit more drunk and, um, definitely, a little bit more carried away with their conversation, I feel like between you two, it's definitely going to turn more dirty. And I feel like, uh, that may lead to you all like actually having sex that same day or that same evening. I feel like that you may, um, of course, safely, if there's drinking involved, travel to each other's home um, and actually want to do things because I feel like they are very turned on and hot by you. And so I do see things progressing very quickly. You know, again, I feel like this person is going to let you know that they want to like rip your clothes off, that they want to see what's underneath, um, that they have been thinking about it and um, expressing that they want to do this for a while, like thinking about it in their mind and uh, maybe like hinting around to you, but haven't been like direct. So I feel like now is their time to express it while they are a little bit more um, loose. <laughs> so let's see what else we can find out. Okay. So we have death reversed. Okay. So I feel like the, again, the attraction is so strong. I feel like this person has had this attraction to you for a very long time. And, um, you know, they've just been afraid to show it. But again, I feel like for those of you who, you know, maybe weren't fully aware that this person had an attraction to you or, uh, you know, maybe you, um, didn't really acknowledge it because maybe you were in a relationship previously or maybe you still are. Uh, but I feel like for many of you, this may progress to uh, intimacy that same day. I feel like that you both are going to be very like turned on uh, by the talk. I feel like this person is definitely like letting you know exactly what they like, that they want to rip your clothes off, um, that they want to see, um, you know, they just want to see you. They want to see your body. They want to feel you. They want to taste you. I feel like that they are being very graphic with the way they are talking to you, uh, the more they drink. And so I feel like because you both are very like turned on by this, I do see that for a lot of you, it may turn into, um, intimacy that same day. I feel like you are both going to want to like jump each other's bones almost immediately. And so I do see a very strong attack attraction, especially with death reverse, you know, that's telling me a very strong strong attraction and intimacy um and not you know like normal death the correct way or the upwards um you know we see a lot of detachment but i do see a lot of attachment uh with death reverse so i do feel like uh, many of you may uh hook up with this person right away and for an overall energy of like your first night together um a date if you do that route but i feel like a lot of you will have sex that day um, when this occurs. Um, and so, uh, we have four of wands. So I feel as if it's going to be 
a little bit awkward because, um, you know, of course this person's been drinking. And so I feel like it's going to be, um, you know, a little bit weird and you may feel a little bit weird about it, but I do think that overall it's going to be pleasant. I feel like you both are going to be releasing um, some like negative energy that you both have been holding on to. I feel like you're going to be letting go of um, some frustrating feelings that you've been having um, in your life. I feel like that this person has been feeling frustrated because they're interested in you and they haven't been able to like cross that yet to be with you. And so I feel like um, it may feel a little bit weird at first and a little bit, you know, awkward and you may kind of like stumble around it and like feel a little bit anxious. But I do think that overall it's going to be a very pleasant experience. You both are going to really enjoy each other's time and um, just have a lot of fun. And, you know, I feel like for many of you, this can lead to something um, better over time, like an actual relationship if that's what you want. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're new around here, I do post daily pick cards on a variety of topics, but I do a lot of 18 plus. So if you're interested in that type of thing, um, hit that subscribe button. And also if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.